Hey guys, this is Brian again. Uh, today we're going to talk about belt drive pressure washers. There's a couple different types of pressure washers that you see. You'll see belt drive, direct drive. Uh, direct drive you'll see the you have the motor and then the pump is bolted directly to the actual uh, engine itself. With, with that in mind you have direct drive. The motor is, uh, the, the engine is directly driving the pump which would sit uh, on a horizontal shaft, it's going to sit out here like this. So uh, the alternative is a belt drive, which is what you see right here. This is a belt drive pressure washer. As you can see, obviously it has a belt that drives the pump. Now, the thing we want to talk about is the advantage of a belt drive versus a direct drive. All right. So your gasoline motors run at uh, full speed typically run, uh, the engine will run at about 3,500 RPM at, uh, wide open. And that's where you want to run your pressure washer when your pressure washing is full throttle. Not half throttle because uh, you're uh, a whole, whole bunch of issues there. Um, but we're going to discuss why the belt drive can be better for you. Uh, before we get started, uh, I've mentioned several times on my videos, this is a working shop, so there's times... I will stop the video, pause the video to take care of phone calls or customers. Um, I tried to do a straight through video so that way you could see in real time what, what we have. Second thing is uh, safety. Always be safe with uh, whatever you're doing here. I've got the uh, spark plugs disconnected on the far side of the motor uh, so that it doesn't accidentally engage while I'm turning the, uh, the pulleys here. So uh, as we were talking about, you've got your motor. You've got your, your pumps on the other side here, and they're connected instead of directly mounted to the motor, they're connected through a pulley system. So you have a belt that runs from one to the other. Now, a belt drive pump doesn't give you any more, any less pressure than uh, another pump does, a direct drive. So this pump that's on here is actually a 4,000 PSI, and it's exactly the same pump that's on a direct drive other than the way it mounts to the machine. Uh, there's an external shaft on a belt drive pump to mount the pulley to. Whereas this exact same pump, parts and everything, is exactly the same on a direct drive pump. It's exactly the same thing. It just has a, an external shaft versus a female coupler, which would slide to the shaft of the motor uh, on a direct drive. Now... When the motor, uh, the engine's running 3,500 RPM on a direct drive, that means the pump is running 3,500 RPM, wide open. All right, you're getting 4,000 pounds of pressure. You're getting three and a half gallons of uh, water per minute. So, what is the difference here? Well, as you can see, you got a small pulley here on the motor, uh, the engine. You got a larger pulley on the pump itself. So I've got two marks here. I'm going to line these back up. You got a mark here and a mark here. So they're straight across from each other. So when I rotate this engine, this engine would be going 3,500 RPM at full uh, throttle. So every time this. Brian, you have a throttle line one. Okay, so uh, we're going to rotate the shaft on this engine and watch the mark versus the mark on the pump. Now keep in mind, as this machine's running at full throttle, you're getting 4,000 PSI on the, on the pump. So we got the mark here, we're going to rotate it. Now that's one full turn on the engine. Our mark is over here on the pump. Okay, let me turn it a little bit so you can see. There's your mark. All right. So we're going to keep rotating this thing. We'll bring it back around again. And boom. Now they're lined up again. All right. So what does that mean? That means your engine, when it's running at full throttle, 3,500 RPMs, this is running because it does two turns for one complete revolution here. You're getting half the RPMs on your pump. All right. But your pump is still producing 4,000 PSI, 3.5 gallons a minute in this case. Even if it was direct drive, it would be 4,000 PSI and 3.5 gallons a minute. But the pump is running at half speed. 
What does that mean to you? Well, if, if you can get from point A to point B in the same time at half speed as full speed, which sounds counter, uh, counterintuitive, but if you can get to the same point or do the same work at half speed, that means your equipment, and in this case the pump, has less stress and less work, less wear than a direct drive. Okay, so the direct drive is giving you the same pressure, same GPM, but it's running at twice the RPMs that the belt drive is doing. Your motor is still doing the same, same RPM, the engine is doing the same RPMs, but your pump is doing half the RPMs, doing the same amount of pressure and the same GPM. So that stresses your pump far less than a direct drive. It wears on your packings less, it wears on the valves less, it wears on the unloader much less. But you're getting the same work. So the advantage in the belt drive is you're stressing your pump less doing the same work. Now there is added weight. You got added parts on here that, that do increase the weight of the unit. So if you try to pick it up by yourself, uh, it's going to be a little more difficult with the belt drive because you do have the added weight. But in the long term, your pump is going to last much longer. It doesn't wear as fast, and you're going to get the same work out of it. So that's one of the big advantages of the belt drive. Another advantage is because the RPMs are slower on the pump, the pump will allow you to siphon, whereas the direct drive is not a good one to siphon with. It moves so quickly, the pistons are moving back and forth so rapidly that it, it doesn't siphon the material, the water, through your, your inlet. It doesn't siphon the water. With a belt drive, you could set this up with a tank, and as long as the head pressure is not too high, meaning that there's not too much a difference in the height of the pressure washer versus the height of the outlet of the water tank, you can siphon with this and it doesn't stress the pump. A direct drive, if you try to siphon with it, it's going to starve the pump for water and it's going to cavitate. Cavitation will cause damage to the pump. So you won't have that, <clears throat> excuse me, have that on the, the belt drive. <clears throat> the, uh, the, the belt, you know, it, yeah, there's an added expense on belts over time, but typically these belts will last you years. Year, if you got a riding mower, most people don't, they never change the belts on their riding mowers. It's the same belts they had on them when they bought it 10 years ago. But if you take care of these, uh, these belts will last you in excess of about you know, 8 to 10 years. It's just not something that you're going to replace on, on a, a regular basis. But in general, when it comes to less stress on the pump, the belt drive is going to be the way to go. Direct drives are less expensive, they do great work, but the belt drive is going to cost you a little more, but it wears on the pump far less. I appreciate you guys joining me today. Uh, if you got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments.